Rock and Roll Romance. So, what can fans expect to hear on the new album? Uh, Mind blowing some goodness. Something for everybody, really. Yeah. You know what? We, we made another record like the last one that we, uh, 12 songs that we really liked, you know, that we love, and you know, hopefully other people will connect with it again. The last one. So, it's a, you know, there, it's not one thing. It's 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 a wide variety. Of so, if each of you had to pick one song in the new album that you had to listen to for 24 hours straight, which song would it be? Oh. I can listen to any one. Yeah, there's actually one song in the record and it's 56 minutes long. Really? <laughs> oh, I was like, wow, that's really long. That's we, we found a way to we found a way to fool the record business because you, you, we just put all everything as one track. So you have to play it all. You gotta listen to all of it if you want. If the song gets added, it's the fucking record. It's the whole record. <laughs> Fair enough. So you can't narrow it down to um, one favorite song. No, like I mean, there's there's rock songs, there's some softer songs, there's a mid-tempo song, and you know there's piano rock, there's bass on it, a lot of good wicked drum beats and loops and stuff going on. And I mean, the first yeah, the right, first yeah. single that came out, I love, it's called Have a Nice Day. Uh, it's just got a great feel to it. It's got that bass. That your lyrics and your songs are very raw and relatable. Do you write it from past experiences, or is it kind of fiction? Everything is something we have lived. It's definitely through. not fictional. Okay. No, no. It's it's definitely. We wish it was some days. <laughs> it's definitely open to interpretation for anybody. I mean, these songs that may seem like a relationship song between a man and a woman, uh, they may or may not be. They can be about a business relationship or something we've been through. You know, totally taken out of context. Out of body experience. Yeah. So they're it's related later, because, later. because they're from spoken truly from our li our lives and the things we've actually gone through. So if you weren't in state of shock, what would you be doing as a Career. Absolutely nothing. We just stayed in shock. And male hooker for sure. Well, maybe he would. I'd be broke hooker. as hell, but I'd be having a great time. You'd love your life. You know that show, Gigolos? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You'd be awesome. Celebrity crush of the moment. You. <laughs> Good answer. That was fair. Jesse. Ah, uh, Matt from My Dark Days for sure. Okay, I'm gonna give you um, a guideline. It has to be a girl. <laughs> I'm the only one that. Yeah, I'm right. He's, he's fine. Um, I'm gonna go with Katy Perry for shizzle. I've been waiting for that for three years. <laughs> All right, fine. That was actually the perfect ending because that was my last question. So. You can, you can, you can, you can edit it. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll leave it just like that. It'll be like. I was. I had such a valid point to say. Yeah, oh, wait, and wait. Oh, he has a valid point. I forget what the wait, question was. I think you're talking about your fans and Tori and you love it. Well, between the guys singing in the background and your guys' crazy antics, I'm very excited to come. <laughs> hey, if you're in a band, don't take yourself too fucking seriously. Never. It's just music. Have fun. Have fun. Life is short. This is great. Stay in school and don't do drugs or you get fucked up like us. Woo! Go Justin Bieber! Woo!